The MOSFET is a voltage controlled current source. And that's the symbol of, a, of an end MOSFET. And, but rather than just a constant current, the voltage control has several modes uh, in the classical sense. If the VGS voltage is less than the threshold voltage, you're in cutoff and you can consider ID as zero. If VGS is greater than VT, above threshold, and VDS is less than VDS minus VT, it's linear and you get this relationship here. And if VGS is greater than VT and VDS is greater than V GS minus VT, you're in saturation, for which you get this equation right here. This assumes no channel length modulation or any other short channel effect. Now, if we just do a hand-drawn plot, of, we can see that for no current, that would be down here, and this area is, uh, would be linear, and where the current flattens out is considered saturation. Now, I've redrawn it over here. So as I step VGS, the current increases, and then I want to just look in on these parts here. And you can see that the current would step up as you change the voltage. Also, if I, the way I've drawn it, the slope of this line is zero, delta I over delta V, then something called the output resistance of the current source, which is one over that slope would be infinite, which would be an ideal current source. So the electrical symbol of this would be a current source, GM times VGS. So whatever voltage is here is multiplied by the transconductance to turn it into a current, and you have an output resistance, just like a current source. And if it were an ideal current source, this resistance would be infinite and would drop out.